What is he so mad about? He just wants to be held. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm tired, but it shouldn't be. Look at this hip joint. Maybe I'll come in this. Come on, come in this. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Set. Pose. It's a three weeks. Another three weeks. Oh, in three weeks. Okay, that's it. I'm just going to tell you about before you go on your walk. Bye, bye, Lady. Bye, Samson. Bye, Emily. Bye, Isabella. Well, here we are. You going to do a rainbow? Yes. He's doing a rainbow, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Did it work? Yes, it worked. Okay, now, now do it. Do it so I can catch you going after it. Oh, I'll video you. I'll video you so much. Don't tell you. The rainbow is right over your Okay, the he's doing a rainbow over his head. Ready? Get set. Go. Yeah, no, okay. okay. Ready? Set. Go. Whoa! Over my head, almost. Great shot. That was super. Okay, he's going to rainbow the ball. I'm guarding him, and the rainbow sh shot goes over my head. Uh, if I mess up... Go ahead. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Can I move? I'm coming at you. No! <laughs> <laughs> the feather scared me. Oh, thank you. Don't let go now. Thank you, <laughs> We're going fishing now. Mark and I had a beautiful long talk last night about Sounder Mind and the marketplace for mental health care. Float that gets floating devices. You have a paddle right there in case the motor stops working. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Otherwise, we do have a map right here. And this map has our number. And um, if you need anything, if he has to come out and help you or anything like that, more than happy to do it. Numbers right there. Okay. Um, otherwise, any questions or if you just want to call and say hi, definitely. Right. Um, as you go out, there's going to be um, rock markers, and you'll sort of see this one right here on the channel. Solid. I won't have to worry about too much. All right. um, otherwise, there's a whistle right here for you, and a shirt to your map, and you should be good to go. So I'll let you hop in and sort of like take the control. Yep. All fueled. All oil's good to go. So I'll have you uh, trim it down real quick. It's going to be the, yeah, that, yep. And to get the throttle handle back down, there's a red clip at the bottom right there. I'm just going to pop it. It's fully trimmed and out of the water. It has to be in the water while it's running. You ready to go, Ethan? Otherwise, you all know, right buckled up? Look at me. I'm taking movies of you. You happy boy today? Uh, you going to catch some fish? Yes. What kind are you going to catch? Cool. Hopefully a big trout. A big trout. Okay, my man. I hope so, too. Between your legs. A fish went between your legs? What happened there? Oh, go between your legs. Okay. As you t can tell from the clock on the screen, we've been out for two hours. Yes. We caught absolutely what? Nothing. Nothing. And how many bites did we have? One. Ethan had one bite the whole two hours. Coming in. We're docking. Chip, my boy, is eating strawberries and filling up his che chubby cheekers. And Ethan just shuffled for his little brother because he's such a chipper. So Noah is dealing. We're playing five card draw poker. You're dealing. You're dealing. So who, who cuts? Who goes first? Well, we're at Camp Schrader, S-H-W-A-D-E-R, doing a little selfie. Jen, you got something you want to say for posterity? No, I don't like being videos. I know you don't, but you're going to get used to it. <laughs> no, Noah's doing something here. What is Noah doing? 
making faces, but not making <laughs> this is sound, you know, these are movie cameras. Ooh. Like brother. Hello! Hello everyone! There's some murals on the ceiling. You did some of those? And and what did you see when you came into the to the camp today? What what, did, what is that Hebrew? Did you read some Hebrew? Yes, you did. You read it very nicely. So here's Ethan, five years old, having a wonderful time at Camp Schwader. Now this is the cleanest, cleanest cabin award. Mark is taking his family, Jen, and kids. We're going to take a look at what cabin number one is, and I'm going to do a scan around this compound here. They've had this synagogue has owned this place for 60 years. People riding there. And basketball court. I passed a soccer field before. And we're, I think we're going into cabin one. Cabin two. Cleanest cabin around. That is fun. Here's the camp. Nice altruator. Different way of doing shoulders, sir. But I can turn you past area. You better choose. Snakes. We can't wait to find snakes. Oh gosh. We have since got rid of those. Those cabins have been demolished. Oh, uh, there are no bats. I promise. Couple, couple rainy shots. Yeah, that was, to be given out. That was not a fun session. I wasn't here, but I've heard plenty about it. Are, we no longer have attic space, so no bats. Yeah, are all the cabins the same size? Uh, yeah. So how many do sleep? Pretty much the same. How many just so sleep? This one will sleep. Sorry, one, two, three. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, this one will sleep. 20. 20. Sorry. Yep. We'll have a female co-counselor, uh, but she'll be sleeping in the Olive Girls cabin, and then uh, she'll just be with us during the day. Okay. Um, and she, um, and we'll have our wilderness specialist, Jake Denny. Um, they're both amazing. I've known uh, our ribs core specialist for about 10 years now. He's an amazing kid. He's going to be an amazing, amazing. So excited? The whole set along, right? Wow. Also, airplane. I love flying. Yeah. One of my favorite things. You get a look up at the top, see the whole world above. Plus, I get to go by themselves. So. And you guys are flying by yourselves? Yeah, scary, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. super scary, especially all three of them. All three of you guys? My mom always says we're flying in the same car, you know? <laughs> so, like, you drive safely. <laughs> All the one package. What session are you guys going? These are the other counselors for the two little guys. That was Ethan's counselor we saw before. It changes every session. Oh, really? mm -hmm. All these cabins. You've gone under all the Yeah, which one were you last year? Did you have a third session last summer? I remember. I remember. Oh, Allie. What's up? Cool hat. Thanks. Where do you think I got it? So there's great going on. The counselors. There's also talk. This is Julianne's cabin. Maybe. 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 I would say that's and your best Ethan knows all about this. He's the old timer. Poor guy's got a load in his pants. He's been walking around for hours like that. Bye, Ethan. See you tomorrow. Who's that? Who's that looking in the camera there? Anybody I know? What's your name, little girl? Nothing. And what cabin are you in? I don't know. Oh. This is going to be a great camp. What? This is going to be a super camp. Did you go here last year? No. Oh. Some, some hikers as well. They so that was like above the tree line you met them or before? Above. I met them above the tree line. So you, ma you made it to the to the hut and the tree line all by yourself in about what, two hours was that? An hour and a half? Two, yeah, two, three hours. Okay. Two and a half, two hours. Okay. So that's halfway up the hill. Usually it's four hours to the top. Yeah, so two hours. Right. So, and, and they were going, they stayed on the trail to go to the top or what did they do, the hikers? We stayed, we, they stayed on the trail to go to the top. Yeah. yeah. And then once we got to the top, we went off trail. We were hiking over the mountains because there was no more trail. So we started hiking, literally climbing over and going on the other side of the mountain. 
or on peaks. Over oh, the- now, stop for a second. How long did it take you to get to the top? Stop eating. You're, you're mumbling with the food in your hands. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm, you can eat after after a minute. Another minute to go here. So, four four hours to go to get to the top. And and you stayed together that whole time with these climbers. I was with them for about a half hour. Oh, I thought you meant a couple. Maybe an hour. Okay. Not too long. Okay. I, um, I sat down to get some rest and eat food. They were gone within 10 minutes, uh, out of sight. And, and now you're at the top, or where did you stop? You're at the very top? I just stopped there. I was in my hands, <laughs> I video, and uh, it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. Super. And then, why did you make the decision to leave the trail? So, I was, after we had, we went over about two or three peaks. Um, now I'm in the middle of uh, all the all the mountain tops, you know? And um, I, I thought I just climbed over one, as I, I must have been uh, lost my perception. And uh, I didn't climb over enough mountain tops to get back to the trail. So, and I had lost the people that I could over with, so. I just took what I thought was a trail down. It was it was like in the valley in between. It was like in the valley. It was going. It was a very. It was a steep slope going down. Very rocky. Well, and it was not marked. There was no markings on this. This was a rocky. I mean, sometimes there's mark markings. There was no markings there. Okay. So you left the trail. I found out why they call it the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> just look at it. You know why they call it Rocky Mountains? Yeah. Yeah. You know, after I got down, I thought, it was a hard work. I thought this was the hard part getting down because it was so steep. I busted my hand. I was bleeding and everything. I get. I ran out of water at the top of the hill when I ate my food. So and then where did you find the creek fill up? I went down the hill, the, all the way down the mountain, and then I was about, I, I, in, I was uh, walking through the forest. Did you see the mountain anywhere from where you were? Or any civilization? Top. I mean, I was deep in the woods. I had, first I was wa- I was walking, and there were the pine trees on each side yeah. for a good, maybe an hour, hour and a half. And then the pine trees were gone, and it's just little tiny.